GSIT has been showing a lot of strength within a longer term bullish trend, up 17.96%. This is on top of the gains of 155.31% yesterday. So today is Tuesday, the 21st of October, 2025, pre-market session. Intraday high in this session, $19.17. Let's find out what's going on. GSI Technology, GSIT, is trending after new data underscored the impressive performance of its Compute and Memory, CIM, APU, which reportedly achieves GPU class AI processing capabilities while operating at a fraction of the energy cost of traditional GPUs. This breakthrough has reignited investor and community interest, positioning GSI as a potential undervalued disruptor in the artificial intelligence and defense sectors. The study comparing GSIT's Gemini APU to high-end NVIDIA GPUs highlighted not only competitive inference performance, but also superior power efficiency, suggesting that the company's architecture could play a key role in the next generation of edge AI and energy-efficient computing. This has led to widespread discussions about GSI's potential role in AI infrastructure, autonomous drones, and defense applications, where power efficiency and real-time data processing are critical. Retail and institutional traders alike are speculating that GSI's technological edge can make it an attractive acquisition target for larger chip makers or defense contractors seeking to diversify into low-power AI computing. Community Chatter also emphasizes GSI's existing defense contracts and expertise in high-speed memory solutions, which could serve as strategic assets in both the commercial and military AI markets. Overall, sentiment around GSIT is turning increasingly bullish, with many seeing it as an overlooked small-cap AI play poised to benefit from the growing demand for efficient, scalable AI hardware, potentially placing it in the same conversation as industry giants like NVIDIA and AMD, albeit on a niche, energy-optimized front. Well, as things stand right now, the stock looks uh, quite volatile, but in any case, um, this company is not is no rival to Nvidia and AMD. You know, if even if it has um, developed an uh, APU that is um, energy by far more energy energy efficient than um, the APUs, some the, the GPUs that uh, Nvidia has. You know, and another thing is that um, Nvidia is also um, pursuing. The next phase of uh, the AI drive, which is uh, inferencing, you know, um, serving enterprises and all that stuff, you know. So, um, yeah, there, there's 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 a there's a niche where this will come in, you know, like edge computing. You know, edge computing is more of um, a much a, a much more remote computing, you know. So there's a there's a place where they fit in, you know. But um, if you're thinking that these guys are a rival to um, AMD, no. You know, if they are going to be a threat, AMD, sorry, um, Nvidia, and AMD, and indeed AMD, they will definitely be to acquire it. You know, they will if if their technology proves to be a threat, that is expect that to happen. You know, amongst other things. You know, so uh, let's see what's going on. Yeah, it looks uh the stock looks quite volatile. You know, uh, this is the four hour chart. It got a rejection here. Nineteen, we have it as nineteen point one seven. And the extrapolation is saying that um, it's going to contract this expansion. No guarantee that that will be the case. Uh, going all the way towards the 30th of October. Okay. Yeah, the stock is easily, easily uh, trading at a huge, huge premium to all of its moving averages. Let's see what we have here. Um, yeah, all of those you can see, they are trending. The basic trend mode is from 0 0.25. This is at 117. That shows you the immense, immense uh, amount of buying pressure that has gone into the stock. Um, yeah, we we are taking a nineteen point one seven as our as our proper projection. Okay, one thing we can equally do is uh, find out um, uh, what people because right now we're seeing a contraction. We're going to use a widely popular indicator, squeeze more squeeze momentum indicator. It's, it's going to show us. Yeah, you can see here the extrapolation is saying that lower prices will continue to print, and this indicator is saying. It's to some extent it's validating that it's saying, yeah, if you really want to sell this, if you want to trade the stock in this in this trajectory that it is in right now, 
go ahead. You can go ahead and do so. It's saying that if you want to trade the stock, it's declining and you, uh, you want to trade it. Maybe, I mean, by that trading the stock as it is declining, meaning you said you're shutting the stock, you know, so it's, it's, it, it's, just, it's, yeah, it's, it's, it's a go, it's a green, it's a green, it's a go ahead, you know, indicating that in, or rather validating, very, or validating, if you like, that uh, this is what is likely to be the case, you know, but this is not, a, this is not, um, that this is not a recommendation that you should do so. This is not a recommendation that uh, you should do so at all, you know. So this is what is based, this is what's going on based on its uh, four hour chart. On its one hour chart, it may be a totally different uh, thing altogether. So this is a this is a trading trading indicator, not a, an investing indicator. Um, even on, okay, well, even on the daily chart, it's also saying uh, whatever the trajectory is, but we're not really going to read it, a lot of meaning into that. Let's have a look at the one hour chart. It's what I wanted to have a look at. On the one hour chart, it's uh, also saying the same thing. If it's going down, it's that's where the direction is. That's where the money is. Yeah, that's where the money is. Okay. Um, let's see now. Um, yeah, we could also have a look at its uh, market greed and see what it's going to give us in terms of um, range of prices because we have already seen this um, intra the in this rejection at 19.17. Let's see whether this has um, reflected that. Yeah, let's see. It gives us, it's gonna give us a trade, a, yeah, a range of trading prices, yeah. Uh, let's see what we have here. We have, um, yeah, 22.17, yeah, you can see that. Between 13.71 and 22.17, this is the range. It expects the, truck, the stock to trade within, you know, so, um, there's a good chance that could, this could be retested 19.17 the algos are saying that it is there but we can't calculate that um because we don't exactly have uh, we can't calculate that, that probability with, because we i don't think the stock has actually pre, you know reached that those sort of levels before no i don't think so let's have a look at this um weekly chart we can determine that probability because we don't know we don't know exactly you know we don't exactly know as a matter of fact, it has it. it had, there was a time it was actually this volatile in uh, 2023. So this is it's, the stock is probably trading uh, in um, new new territory. Yeah, uncharted uncharted uh, territory. Let's look at the six month chart. Yeah, this is uncharted ter territory territory for the stock. You know. So, but in any case, we'll, you know, if it's if it's um, there's a good chance the stock is going to remain. It's going to remain, uh, it's going to be buzzing. It's going to be trending, you know, um, it's going to be, yeah, there'll be a lot of chat around it. So we'll see how it goes. We, we'll definitely uh, continue to look at the stock and see what it's going to, whether, you know, this its technology is going to be of any threat to the big players, the, you know, and uh, yeah, we'll see, we'll see. So currently up 27.26%, the stock it is volatile. You know, we, we can equally try and see what, what the float is. I don't think it has a low float. No, GS. I'm because I'm wondering why is it so, why is it so volatile? Why is it so? Because if it's if it's it's good, it can be good, but at the same time, it's not a fantastic idea. It's not a fantastic idea. It's it's just going to be the stuff of uh, traders, you know, investors, hedge funds, and other stuff. I don't really, th I don't really think they they like uh, volatile stocks, you know. And it's good. It's good if it's if this company is going to be a uh it's going to sit in in the in the whole scheme of the ai scheme ai infrastructure scheme you know then it shouldn't have a low float you know because hedge funds are you know are gonna probably increase their stakes in this it's not as if they, they may have a, they may have positions in the stock but i mean being part of a of an index for instance yeah an, or an etf sorry an ETF, yeah etf then they probably i don't know whether they do this um well we don't exactly know if it has a low float, but it, it's looking volatile. Let's just find out. Let's find out. Yeah, it's uh float is 21.69. Mm, okay. Not um, not a low float, but you know, definitely the stuff that can not it not not um the volume the, the float is such that it could actually, you know behave like uh, a, a low float stock. No, but uh, we'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. Okay, so 
um yeah i'll continue to update you thank you very much for watching this video